between the earthquakes and trying to make sure that I'm facing the camera and trying to make sure that I'm actually on camera, I'm finding recording myself at the whiteboard a little bit distracting. So I'm going to go ahead and give a shot back to the recording of the document camera. So I want to go ahead and lay out some formulas here that are going to be helpful when we're thinking about revenue and costs and profits and that kind of stuff. So three major things we want to talk about. We want to talk about revenue, we want to talk about costs, and we want to talk about profits. And for each one of these, we want to be able to think about total revenue, total costs, and total profits, average revenue, average costs, and average profits, and marginal revenue, marginal costs, and marginal profits. Total revenue is going to be the price that we sell our output for times the quantity of output that we sell. Average revenue is just price because average revenue is total revenue over the quantity we sell. Marginal revenue, which we often abbreviate MR, is the change in total revenue over the change in the quantity sold, or if you wanted to break it down a little bit more, then we would have TR2 minus TR1 over Q2 minus Q1. What about costs? Total costs, often abbreviated TC, we often compute these as fixed costs plus variable costs. Average costs, sometimes written AC, sometimes written ATC, we compute as total cost over quantity. There's a couple of other measures of average cost that we sometimes look at here. One is, what is our average fixed cost, AFC? So there we take our fixed costs and divide by the quantity we produce. So that gives us an estimate essentially of what our overhead costs per unit are. And notice that since fixed costs are fixed, as long as quantity is increasing, average fixed cost per unit falls because we're able, able to spread our overhead costs over more and more units. There's also average variable costs where we take all of our variable costs and divide by the number of units produced. This one is going to behave in a much less clear manner than average fixed costs. And we'll go ahead and explore some of that later. Finally, marginal costs, or MC, is the change in total costs over the change in quantity. So that's going to be total cost 2 minus total cost 1 over quantity 2 minus quantity 1. So that's how we compute marginal cost. Profits, well, total profits equals total revenue minus total cost and average profits equals total profits over the total quantity that we produced. We can actually think about average profit per unit it's also true that average profit per unit is the price we sold our goods for minus the average total cost per unit. Once we think about this, we can also see that total profits are also equal to average profit per unit, price minus average total cost, times the quantity sold 
So, you know, either of these ways of doing it will get us the same answer. This way over here, price minus average total cost times quantity, I think breaks it down into useful analytical chunks. There's our profit per unit and how many units we sold. And now we can start to think about, well, if one of these three variables changes, how does that affect total profits? Or if price and average total cost both grow, um, how does the amount that price grew relative to average total cost impact our profit per unit and then multiply the number of units and so on and so forth. So that's a useful way to break it down. There's also marginal profit. And marginal profit is how much additional profit did we get by selling one more unit? So that's marginal revenue, the additional revenue the one more unit contributed, minus marginal cost. So that's one way to compute it. It could also be total profit 2 minus total profit 1 over Q2 minus Q1. And those should give us the same results there. So I'll go ahead and pause there, and that's a useful set of formula for you guys.